Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will have some examples on projection of points. So before moving to the examples, these are the important points you have to remember. So the first thing you have to remember the front view and top view positions as per the given quadrant. Second, you have to remember in order to draw the front view, you will have to use the distance given with HP. And in order to draw the top view, you have to use the distance which is given with VP. Third and most important thing, you have to always use small letters for indicating the front view and top view. And front view is always represented using a dash. Examples, the first example, point A is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. Draw the projection of the point and identify the quadrant. So going step by step, solution, given data. So point A is given to us, 10 mm above HP, this is next given data, and 15 mm in front of VP, this is another given data. As per the given conditions, as the point is located above HP and in front of VP, this makes sure that the point lies in first quadrant. This we have already discussed in the previous video. Now let us see how it will be looking in the three dimensional view so this is the four quadrant system and we are looking from this side this is point a which will be having the front view above xy line as it is in the first quadrant and it will be having top view here on the horizontal plane which will be obtained below xy so the distances, corresponding distances as given in the question, 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. So let us draw the solution of this. First step, draw the XY line. Take a vertical projector. On this, you have to locate 10 mm above. As explained in the previous slide, the distance mentioned with HP is to be used to draw the front view. So with HP, 10 mm is given. For first quadrant, it has to be taken above XY line and then you will take this point and name it as A dash. Now you have to rotate this horizontal plane clockwise 90 degree. So if you rotate it, this top view of A will be going below the XY line and the distance is mentioned here 15 mm. So 15 mm below you have to take, you have to point and you have to write it as A. So this completes your solution of this question. As you can see, A dash and A lies on the single vertical projector. That is more important because these two are not different points. These are just two views of a given point. Coming to the second question, point B is 15 mm above HP and 20 mm behind VP. Draw the projections of the point and identify the quadrant. So going step by step, given data you have to extract first, point B is given to us, 15 mm above HP and 20 mm behind VP. So above HP and behind VP, that is our second quadrant. So the given point B is in second quadrant. So let us take a look how it will be seen in your second quadrant. So B is placed in second quadrant here and it will be having the front view B dash above XY line and the top view will be seen on horizontal plane like this. The corresponding distances are given here above HP is 15 mm and behind VP is 20 mm. Now let us draw the actual solution. First thing XY line then a vertical projector. Now we can see for the second quadrant both front view and top view will be above XY line. We will go step by step. As you can see here front view is obtained above XY line and the distance to draw the front view is always the distance which is mentioned with HP. So you will take 15 mm above HP and you will locate a point B dash will be the name that is front view of B. Then you have to rotate this horizontal plane clockwise 90 degree if you do so this plane will be overlapping and it will be collapsed with the vertical plane. So the top view of V will also be seen above XY line. How much above the corresponding distance mentioned here is 20 mm. So 20 mm you have to take above XY line and you will locate the top view of V. 
Now you have to make sure that whatever distances you are counting are to be counted from x y line only. And one more thing you have to remember as you can see here the smaller dimension is placed inside and the larger is placed outside. This is done on purpose so in order to avoid any intersection of extension lines with the dimension lines. Coming to the third question, point C is 15 mm below HP and 20 mm behind VP. Draw the projections of the point and identify the quadrant. So going step by step, solution given data you have to extract, point C is given to us, 15 mm below HP that is another given data from the question, 20 mm behind VP that is another data. As you can see here below HP and behind VP is mentioned according to these conditions the point should be in third quadrant. Let us take a look how it will be seen in a third quadrant so this is you have to draw point C here. This point C is located in third quadrant where you will have the front view below XY line as you can see here and the top view will be seen at this position C. Now the corresponding distances are also given in the question it is 15 mm below HP and 20 mm behind VP. Now let us draw the actual solution taking XY line then a vertical projector on this let us draw the front view first so below HP for third quadrant we have to draw the front view below XY line so 15 taken below C dash will be located here then you have to rotate this plane clockwise 90 degree if you do so you will have this C that is top view of C above XY line and the distance will be 20 mm so 20 mm above locating the top view of C this you have completed your solution as you can see here again C dash and C are lying on a single vertical projector because these two are views of a single point coming to the fourth question point D is 35 mm below HP and 40 mm in front of VP draw the positions of the point and identify the quadrant so starting with the solution given data first Point D is mentioned, 35 mm below HP is given and 40 mm in front of VP is also given in the question. Below HP in front of VP will give you the fourth quadrant so the point D is lying in fourth quadrant. If you place it like this in the fourth quadrant here D will be having its front view D dash below XY line and will be having D its top view here on the horizontal plane like this. The corresponding distances are also given below HP is 35 and 40 mm in front of VP. Let us draw the actual solution now. Taking the XY line first, drawing a vertical projector. As you can see the front view is below XY line and for the fourth quadrant top view will also be below XY line. So drawing the front view first, taking 35 mm from the XY line, locating a point, naming it as D dash. Then if you rotate this horizontal plane clockwise 90 degree, then it will be overlapped with the vertical plane here. And at 40 mm from the XY line, we will be seeing the top view of D that is point D here. This is how you have obtained the front view and top view of the given point D which was located in fourth quadrant. Now let us see two more examples. Point A is 10 mm above HP and on VP. Draw the projections of the point. So extracting the given data, point A is given to us 10 mm above HP and on VP. Now if you see here the point is having only one distance given and another distance with VP is not mentioned. So there was a point which is having 10 mm above HP. Here it is 10 mm from the horizontal plane but it is not here in the position mentioned here but it is lying on the vertical plane itself. So this is 10 mm above HP and on VP it will be looking like this. So if you try to draw its front view and top view 
a dash will be on the same location where a is shown here whereas the top view will be seen on xy line itself because there is no distance mentioned with vp and as a usual practice what we do we take the distance mentioned with vp to draw the top view let us draw the actual solution xy line vertical projector here 10 mm above you will see a dash that is the front view of the given point and when you rotate this plane on xy line itself you will obtain the top view of the given point that is a so here you have to remember when the distance is not given with vp then top view will be shifted on xy line another question point b is on hp and 15 mm in front of vp draw the projections of the point given data point b is mentioned on hp it is given to us and 15 mm in front of vp is mentioned let us take a look how it will be seen so there is a point here but it is not above hp it is in front of vp 15 mm and it is on hp itself so this will be the position of the given point and the top view will be coinciding with the same point whereas the front view will be seen on xy line like this so let us draw the actual solution now this is the xy line the first step then a vertical projector if you rotate this horizontal plane clockwise 90 degree then the top view will be shifted below xy line the distance to draw the top view as mentioned here is 15 mm so taking 15 mm and locating b that is the top view and the front view will be seen on xy line itself so here you have to remember when nothing is given as a distance with hp no distance is mentioned with horizontal plane then front view will be shifted on xy line so hope you have enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe it thank you for watching